And are you starting on anything on the uh, the boss today, Nigel? So the boss just needs to start so that we can get it in time. Uh, we're just going to take all the wiring, all the guards, all the everything. Yeah, just get it ready so we can do the timing chain. And away we go. Yes, timing chain, fun times. It will be. Yeah, fun times. Just parts. It's just parts. It's just parts. It's parts. Right. One thing at a time. That's what yep. we try. Cool. So currently, Ronnie is down at Penrith Auto Electrical, um, getting the air conditioning done. Uh, so John has fit that in for us today, which is really cool. And now it's the boss's turn. So it's time to start. It's time. That was a good one. It's time. Timing chain. Timing Just chain. Time to start the timing chain. Say that ten times faster. Um, so yeah, we're going to make a start on it today, and then we'll continue with Nathan when he comes on Monday. So yep, covers, electrical, maybe timing. Yeah, hey. We'll see where we get to. Yeah, it'll be covers, rock covers, pulleys, water pumps. Yep. Radiator cool. out. Make some room. Fans. Um, we'll have two fans for our we'll, job this time. We'll have two, is, two if fans. If you want to be our fan, join in. Excellent. Yeah. Like and subscribe. That's what they say, isn't it? So Mace Engineering's looked after us again. Uh, they always do. They've given us a really good price on... Um, this kit, so this is um, chain and sprockets kit uh, for the boss. Um, comes with all the tensioners and chains and guides and everything we need. Um, all good quality stuff. So, um, yeah, thank you, uh, Mace Engineering, for looking after us again. So, why are we doing the timing chain again? Because it's oh, all kinds of reasons. Because it sounds like a tractor, and we don't yeah. want it throwing a timing chain at Drag Week. True. <laughs> that would suck. Because then Steve would win, win and running, and we don't want that. So the first thing we're going to take off is the plenum and all the intake stuff, um, plastic covers, because we can't get to the rocket covers with the throttle body and everything still there. So, so we've got the plenum off the top. Uh, there's a bit of oil in the, the plenum when we took it off, but not too bad. It's pretty, still pretty clean in here. I mean, it hasn't done that many Ks. It's probably done oh, maybe 2,000 Ks since we put the, this motor in here. Um, yeah, I always like looking at it with the top off that. It looks really cool. <laughs> we should just have little air cleaners coming out here on each side. <laughs> little throttle body. Just socks for this one. It socks, yeah. Nah. We're going to have individual throttle bodies coming out the side of the little trumpets. Yeah, it comes our Bosch battery. Oh, pen and or electrical. Look, like, look at that. John's great. Uh, it's another, that battery was given to us by, by John. He's always supporting us. Yeah, that was a bit of fun. That was a bit of fun. Good conversations around yeah, yeah, we went, we went and checked out his um, race car he's building. Um, we're going to get out at uh, London Raceway on the skid pan with him when he's done. Um, I don't know, we, will, we might take Ronnie, we might take... No, we won't take Ronnie, what am I saying? Or we might, I don't know. Uh, we might take the boss, we might take Misfire. Um, yeah, yeah. But I was just saying to Nigel, you know, drag challenge. I'm really looking forward to drag challenge for a couple of reasons. One of them being, no matter how it goes, um, driving the boss around... It's a car that we've built, and we've been up to our armpits in, in Greece working on it, and we put a lot, a lot of hours into it. it. You know, there's no better feeling in the world than actually getting out there and driving something that you've built, um, and you've put the time in. So whether or not, you know, we're not going to be the fastest car out there by any means. We probably, we might be the slowest car out there, but it doesn't matter, because we're going to be out there driving something we built. And I don't know, but that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so can't wait for drag challenge. The joys of a custom build as things are a lot closer. So on, a, on the BA that it came out of, this ABS motor and everything wasn't there. It was up the back. And we have to get to these bolts down in here. Mind you, with the other six cylinder that we had in here. Yeah, there was, there, was, there was plenty of room. So we've got to move, shuffle this sideways. We've got to shuffle that sideways. Is this what you do? Yep, there's a bit of shuffling to do, because everybody's shuffling. I knew he was going there. So far, we have dropped the water. We've disconnected radiator hoses. I was just disconnecting the uh, cooler hoses uh, for the auto. And, um, yeah, I think then we're going to call it a day on it today, because Nigel's got to go. And um, it can wait for Nathan on, on Monday. All right, we want to show you what we just found. See down here on the radiator, it's been a leak in. So, new radiator. Glad we found it now, not 
in a month's time because that would have been rather inconvenient. Just taking all our spark plugs out. Ah, uh, yes. Marking them all. I don't know, it's just what I've grown up with. No, good idea. So then everything goes back in the same spot. We're done. All right. So what are we doing today? Even if it's just all of these bits? Yeah, we're going to take all of that out. Um, take this belt off. Take this belt off and change it. Yep. You're going to change the belt. Because we want to get in behind that. Remember we looked on the computer? We looked up timing chains. We looked up timing. We looked up cams. And this is all animated. It's really cool. Uh, so that you can see what's going on before you even pull it apart. Awesome, that. Okay, we're going to show you something here. We've just pulled the rocket cover off. Now this motor that came out of the BA had apparently done 160,000 Ks. Vegemite! That's how they make Vegemite. It you looks like... It, it seriously looks like Vegemite. Now, it makes me wonder how regular the servicing was on this vehicle. Now, it did come out of Originally, the car it came out was an ex high patrol vehicle, but in saying that, the police generally service their cars pretty regularly. So, some point after that, I don't think it's been serviced very regularly. I mean, if you work with these engines and light, and it's a common thing, let us know. But um, yeah, that's disgusting. It's all glazed and horrible. Anyway, yeah, these are the bits that we're getting to. Yeah, there we go, we're going to change all these chains over. No, I'm just going to try and unglue the sap to get this rocket cover off. No, oh, it's off. It's just our space. Like all. Has anyone been to space? You just need to know how to do it. No, it's bad. That's a bad one. No, that didn't work. That didn't, no. We need some astronauts. Space is good, you've got plenty of room. <laughs> yeah, this may, yeah, we'll get it out. Let's take an engine out. Just dropping our lesson, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, that's the best thing. Yeah, to yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> a month before drag week. Hey, we could make it happen though. In a month, we could get an LS in this. <laughs> Let's look at this rocket cover. Look at that. Change your oil, people. That is disgusting. Yes, change your oil. Use Yep, 100%. That's disgusting. I am glad we pulled this off before drag challenge. Well, but in other news, because we can, I'm going to do some colour coding <laughs> because it, red makes things faster. So our platinum here, our platinum, we're going to paint it red to match the Falcon. So that'll be a bit of fun. And then the boys can keep doing the dirty jobs over there. What a clean spot. Where? No way. Excellent. That's what we're looking for. Oh, the win. What's the other Vegemite? Vegemite, yes. Or maybe Promite or Marmite. Oh, something Promite. disgusting. Yeah. Car's up in the air now. Nigel and um, Nathan are uh, making good progress. We were just having a look here at the uh, power steering pump. I don't know if you can see it, probably not. But um, yeah, there's a bolt missing. It's weight reduction. It's, yeah, it must be weight reduction. In behind that fitting. Oh yeah, in behind the fitting there. Yeah, cool. That's right, you don't need it. Yeah, you must, mustn't need it. Yeah. yeah. Lenham is looking really sweet in hot chili red. That's just going to brighten up the engine bay a bit. And after finding a sludgy motor, it's just a feel good moment. And I got the easy job. I did some painting. Go one hot yeah. chili red Lenham. So pretty. And Nigel's making a special tool over here to get the uh, the crankshaft uh, pulley off. Nigel is the man. It's coming off. One part at a time right here. One part at a time. Hey, we won't be beaten here at Bump Stop. Oh, sorry. This is a part of a misfire. <laughs> 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 the uh, puller. The puller. There we go. Too easy. Look at that. And off it comes.
That's one of those satisfying moments, is it, Nigel? When it works. It is. Here we go. One of those that works moments. All right, we're approaching the moment of truth here. All right, I'm gonna grab that side. Let's see what it's gonna look like. How much more cleaning have I got to do? See, it's not as bad as I thought. I could... Yep, just leave that on there. Oh, take that out. That's actually not too bad. Merry Christmas, look at that. So that's our side that's been leaking. Because that side's clean. It's red. There you go. So one of our tensioners has been leaking. This one over here, I'd say. You see this side of the motor is a lot cleaner than this side. All right, well Nigel's just cleaning up the sump. Let's just have a little bit of a look. Ugh. Look at all the guide material that's in there. Now some of that might have fallen in when we were cleaning up and putting guides out, but uh, the fact that we've cleaned it out of here now, we actually found, oh there's some, there's still some in there. Uh, this guide material in here. There we go, right there. Little bits and pieces of it. Um, you have guide material. So it's a good thing that we've done this because it was getting nasty. But inside there, everything's looking pretty clean. Not as gunky as up top, which is good. Well, we're back. It's Monday. Nathan's with us again today. The boss is still apart. We've had a whole lot of parts um, come. We've got a new radiator here. We've got sump gaskets, timing cover, seal kit, um, rocket cover gaskets, kits, so we're doing all that. Um, new seals. Figure while we've got it apart, we might as well do it properly. Nathan's here, good morning Nathan. Hello. And you're doing some more cleaning? Yeah. It feels like the story of our life, just cleaning this thing. Yeah. So what are you cleaning up? Um, that. Ah, the pulleys. Yeah, the pulleys on both yeah. sides. Yeah, they're a bit oily and gross. So hopefully that'll stop our belt slipping. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the plan is today to try and get it back together. Back together. And get it running. Running. Hey, Nathan's called it. Running today. We'll get it running. Running today. I like the sound of that. Hey, this is exciting. Nice. Our tension is going back on. They are. They are very special. Oh, they're special glasses. <laughs> I snorted on camera. <laughs> All right, Nathan, your turn. Line these up. And then line the keys up. And they'll go straight on. Wait, wait, wait. They've got to go straight on together. Up. Yep. Got to go on together. Excellent. Here we go. First one on. Straight. Excellent. Nigel, for people who've never seen one of these before, our, those links have got some significance. Yes. So the links line up. Oh, I'll show them. Line up with the timing mark. Okay. And Same then, then with that one. Yep. And then on the, other, on the other gear, same again. This is a timing mark. Yep. That'll line up with the single, wherever that is. This one's blue. It'll line up with that one. Oh, okay. And then at the top, there's two. And, and others. That mark that there. So okay. that'll fit in there. Cool. Oh. Because we couldn't get this in otherwise. Yep. Yeah, okay. There you go. Like that. 
There's my hand guide. Beauty. Well, here we go. The um, timing chains are on. Nigel's just going to uh, start talking things up to the right torque settings. All right, I'm going to do this one. Slowly, step this slowly into a flex. There you go. You're going to do the honours and pull the pins out for us. Yeah. You're right. You're right from that. Oh, so one. There you go. Now let's let's get them and throw that way. Yeah. There we go. Good. Man, that's that's so much better already. Well, we're making some good progress. Well, Nathan and uh, Nigel are um, holding a camera today. The timing cover is on, and look how shiny and clean it is. That is so much better. Rocket cover soon. Plenums brake. Master cylinders, ABS, radiators, something to go on. Will we start it today? Hmm, don't know. Right, Nigel's decided to do something different. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we're gonna put the sump on. For those of you who didn't get the joke, Nathan's not laughing. I don't think he found the uh, joy in it that I did. But the boss is getting there, getting very close. Well, thankfully, that's a wrap for the timing chain job on the boss. That was massive, um, disgusting, filthy, dirty job. Like, my hands are clean at the moment. <laughs> yeah, do it at your own risk. Obviously, we found the Vegemite. It was more like tar in the, um, it wasn't really sludge, yeah. It was more like tar in the rocket covers. It took us ages to clean that out. So it's all back together now. Uh, I think we still need to just top up the auto fluid and, something else we had to do oh we've just put some cheap oil in it at the moment we'll just let it idle through uh, and we'll dump the oil put a new filter on just to get all the crap that might have gone in there out and then we'll put some uh, good um, uh, Penrite synthetic stuff that we normally run in it in but uh, it's looking the goods so you see we've, we've gone a bit color coded kind of blings it up a little bit um, but yeah it's, it's all back together so like I said, a few things to do. We'll uh, just go over it and tighten a few odds and sods up as well. It was a bit of a rush this afternoon. I'm um, trying to get it started before Nathan went. We didn't, unfortunately, but um, that's alright. He'll be here next week and it'll be running. Um, yeah. So I just want to say a huge thanks to Nigel who went over and above working on this this time. It was just disgusting. Grant for pitching in. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to Drag Challenge. So we've got some radials to put on. Um, some tyres for this, we've got some stuff to do for Ronnie, um, yeah, looking forward to drag challenge. So, we'll see you all next time.